There we go. Oh, look at this sketchy place. Maybe this is why the road is closed. <laughs> this could be why the road is closed. But we're adventurers. Look at that. Kevin's a pro at driving. Obviously, the road washes out here. Well, it is a company car, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the fog is really cool over there on the... Look at that, it's pretty cool. The rocks are really weird. They're all put together. And look, it goes right up over your head. That's crazy. Look at the massive cliff over there. The fog bank. This place is gorgeous. Here's the wonky bridge we just went over. We made it! Eatonville Hiking Trail. We are going to hike out to look at the Three Sisters Rocks, which are here. Squally Point, Raised Beach. We're going to go out. And look at, we want to go out to the look off number four. Well, we can look at all the look offs. 5.6 kilometers return. So that's an hour and a half walk. If we're just walking slow. That's not bad. It's seven o'clock right now. Let's get moving, Kevin. Let's go. For public safety, campsite reservations must be done prior to arriving at the camping park. But seeing as the road had a road to close sign, I'm guessing they're not taking reservations. There we go. Three sisters, 1.8 kilometers. That's not bad at all. We'll be there and back in an hour. Wait. Let's look off number one. Number one. Number one. Let's see, let's let's have a look off. <laughs> Is that like a dance off? <laughs> it's foggy. <laughs> wow, that's pretty down there. Isn't that gorgeous? The tide's coming in. Wow. Is that the sisters over there? No, I don't think. I don't think. The 
Is this number a look off number two? I think so. Wow, this is kind of freaky just walking out here knowing that it's way down there. There's a deer right there. Get your camera out. Take a picture of him. You see the deer? He's looking at us through the trees. He's like, hello. I'm going to eat my meal. And I think I'll hide. Was cute. Here he is looking at us. Oh, he's under the tree. He's like, piss off, you're ignoring my time. Wow. Look at that view. Although it's starting to get foggy. It's a foggy view. You better be careful. Number four. So we went the one to four. This must be look off number four. Or actually it's number three. The three sisters was number four. We just kind of did it backwards. Look down there. Wow. There's a big circle down there. There's a buoy down there. Is that what that is? Yeah, it looks like the bottom of a buoy. <laughs> it probably has rope on it and it's just stuck in the rocks. That's crazy. Crazy neat. Look at that beach down there. Fisher. Oh, there it is. They're pointing at, at it on this picture. See, if there was ever a zombie apocalypse, you'd build a wall right there and you'd live over there. And you'd live over there? Uh-huh. What a great idea. Mm -hmm. But where would you grow vegetables and things? It's not a very you'd, big you'd area. Have a, you'd have a rope and you'd crawl down <laughs> The beach down there is pretty. With one little fence. Yeah, that's where they would build the boats and bring them build in. ships. They build ships down there. All right, let's look the other side. Let's see what's over here. The sun and the fog is over here by the looks of it. Sea stack. Well, by the looks of it, it, it was a big one and then it had a hole in the middle. And then it broke, and that's all that's left. That's cool. <laughs> Look off number two. Eatonville Harbor. Look at that, they used to build boats here. Wow, look at that. 350 residents. Edenville Village was home to 350 residents who worked in the lumbering and shipbuilding operations. Trees and scrub are masking any evidence of that today. That's cool. So just up Down the there. Road. 
few kilometers upstream. <laughs> Neat. 350 people. And it would be within walking distance of this area because this is where they work. Yeah. How would they get up there though? I mean, how would you get down there? Well, they live down there. <laughs> they walk up here, they go to work, they walk back. Remember, you're looking at it from the top of a cliff that they would never go. I think it would be fun to walk down there. I think it would be too. Yeah, and go down on the beach down there when the tide's low. That would be awesome. Well, actually, it's probably deep there if they built ships. Well, even over there where the grassy bit is. Yeah, that's cool. Know, people have been there like a hundred years ago, gooning around and loading lumber and stuff like that. Neat. All right, it's time to head home and put our feet up and have cookies. <laughs> Run out of time before it gets dark. Mmm, <laughs> look at the donut. Oh, coconut donut is so tasty. So we left the park. Um, we stopped these guys and asked them if there's a, a road to drive through to Advocate and he's like, yeah, just, I'm heading that way, follow me. So, here we go. Do, do you think it's safe? <laughs> they look pretty awesome, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna follow them. Alright, our guide stopped and, um, gave us directions to keep going straight. We fell in a pothole and, so uh, <laughs> So we're on our own now. I guess we'll figure it out. Apparently we're gonna come out somewhere in Advocate, so. He said go straight, so straight we be going. We're going straight. Sketchy. <laughs> I'm glad we did not bring the van with us on this trip. Yeah. Looks like it's about ready yeah. to fall in. <laughs> I, I didn't go over that slow. <laughs> Um, we lost some of the video when we got to Advocate, but thanks to some local people, we made it through. It was a beautiful day, but a couple tips if anybody plans on going out through there. Um, there's no self-service. The roads are quite narrow and um, we went late in the day so we didn't have enough time to do all the trails so we plan on going back again to finish the rest. It was a pretty cool place. I recommend going if you can.